Hi, and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video, I'd like to briefly run through a trap that I came across in the Dutch defence. I tend to open most of my games uh, with 1d4, and so I do come across the Dutch defence quite a lot. And in Bullet and Blitz, I tend to try and play a little bit more aggressively and opt for bishop g5, which gives you the position you'll have on your screen. Now, a lot of players play very aggressively and very dynamically in Bullet and Blitz, and quite a common response to bishop g5 in the games I've played is for black to push the bishop back, as follows, playing h6, bishop retreats to h4, and black continues with g5. Now on the face of it, if you look at black's pawn structure, it looks as if whatever white does is going to lose the dark square bishop. But actually, if you take a look at games played, at this stage of proceedings, black is already in serious problems. If you ignore the threat on the bishop and instead play e4, you'll notice this does two things. First of all, it just allows black to take the bishop, but more importantly than that, it opens up the diagonal for the queen, allowing queen h5 checkmates. Now, believe it or not, in several games I've played, black goes ahead and captures the bishop and um, results in a very unfortunate checkmate. Now, even if he tries to defend with knight f6, that can be dealt with by e5 pushing the knight away, and again, black has problems, and bishop g7 can be met with queen h5, and again, even though both those lines don't result in an immediate checkmate, they are very unpleasant positions for black. And actually, in a brief analysis of games on the free internet chess server, this position you'll see on your screen actually has a win percentage of uh, well over 70% for white. So, if you play the Dutch or you play 1d4 and uh, face the Dutch defence, this trap is well worth being aware of. Uh, it takes advantage of very aggressive players, particularly in Bullet and Blitz. I hope this is useful, and as always, uh, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.